Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini March 11, 2023. Surrounding yourself with familiar things or engaging in comforting routines can feel particularly strengthening today. While you're curious and crave some mental stimulation, you're inclined to want to play things safe today. At the same time, you're in a great place to creatively combine getting some peace and enjoying some self-expressive fun. Energies elevate your thoughts and inspire a sense of real progress. You may see interesting patterns in your life that help you better understand yourself and your relationships. Good advice that takes into account both practical and emotional factors can come your way. For months, you've experienced a fiery, fun vibe igniting in the heavens. This is because Juno, the asteroid tied to loyalty in marriage, sizzled through the zodiac sign of Aries. This invigorated all relationships with a passionate edge, as we sought more adventure. We have been inspired by the courage of our partners, infused with adrenaline for change, and hungered for all sorts of new horizons. Let this exuberant and feisty energy electrocute you and your partner on every level for a few more days. It will surely bring a joyful change of pace as you explore your true needs and desires. After that, Juno will dance elsewhere. What do you need to prioritize? You may feel torn between prioritizing your personal life versus your career path when the Moon in Libra opposes Jupiter in Aries and Chiron in Aries. There is something in your career path that is calling your name, so your vocation may be the center of your world right now. While it is good to be professionally ambitious, it may deter you from taking some time off to relax at home and spend time with your loved ones. Think of these transits as an opportunity to take time off without feeling guilty. While Pluto is just two weeks away from his first visit to your financial sector in our lifetime and as the planet of change and revolution this will be a chance to change things up, two days after Saturn left there is a chance to let things sit empty for the next 14 days. In that time the moon will move through but not until later next week, with a chance to let things settle but also to take a break from overthinking things. Resistance is something you possess in spades. You are quite resistant to colds, are able to work despite distractions, and you easily resist temptation. When you find resistance in yourself, however, your tendency is to back away and pretend it isn't there. If you find yourself resisting the health practices you identified days ago, the first thing to do is suspend judgment. With an open mind, go back to your list and find other options that suit you better. Resist discouragement. This is the day to get caught up. The essence of this vibration will encourage you to finish up those tasks that have been in process. Not only will this be evident on the job scene, your home can also pose several chores to keep you busy. Feeling productive is something that suits you very well, and this is definitely the day to make this happen. Just be sure that you leave enough time to wind down and relax when all is said and done. A day after the moon not only left your communication sector but wrapped up a full moon that had the power to push through communication barriers, Pluto moves into his final two weeks in your communication sector. With no planetary activity in your communication sector until the Dwarf Planet series returns later in the month but with an important two weeks on the relationship front stretching out in front of you, what the moon has started should not only be easy to maintain but it is important that you do. Thanks to the moon's departure from your communication sector yesterday and the communication barriers that as a full moon this was able to push through, there is a chance to move into Pluto's final two weeks in your relationship sector with confidence. From the moon's clash with Pluto last weekend to its push to get the communication lines open, this leaves you with a better sense of what you want from your relationships and of how to make the planet of change and revolution's final weeks here count. Our eyes in the sky. It's possible that you have been neglecting your personal issues recently. However, due to the current alignment of the moon, avoiding any drama may not be an option anymore. In fact, some of your relationships may require you to delve deeper into the other person's psyche. This could be with a friend, romantic partner, or even someone who has been bothering you lately. 
It's important to take the time to reflect on your relationships and address any underlying issues that may be causing tension. This could lead to a greater understanding and deeper connection with those around you. However, it's also important to set boundaries and prioritize your own well-being in the process. Don't shy away from confronting any uncomfortable emotions that may arise during this time. The moon's energy can be intense, but it can also provide a powerful opportunity for growth and healing. Trust in yourself and the process, and be open to the insights and revelations that may come to light. As the Libra moon opposes Jupiter in Aries in the morning, we may feel a surge of enthusiasm and optimism, but we must be mindful of the potential for excess. While it's essential to have faith in ourselves and our abilities, it's equally important to avoid arrogance and overconfidence, which could lead to our downfall. During this time, we may find ourselves in situations where we are tempted to let our guard down or reveal too much, whether it's in personal or professional relationships. It's crucial to exercise caution and discernment, especially when dealing with those who may not have our best interests at heart. We may feel pressured to say yes to things we're not comfortable with in an attempt to please others, but it's crucial to set healthy boundaries and prioritize our own needs. In our interactions with others, we may be inclined to lend a helping hand or extend our resources. While it's admirable to be generous, it's crucial to ensure that we're not putting ourselves in a vulnerable position. Before making any commitments, we should evaluate whether the terms are fair and equitable and whether we're comfortable with the potential outcomes. Overall, it's important to strike a balance between optimism and caution during this time. By being mindful of our actions and decisions, we can avoid potential pitfalls and achieve our goals while preserving our integrity and well-being. Shortly after the moon opposes Jupiter in Aries, we will face another cosmic challenge as the moon opposes Chiron in Aries. This could be a difficult time as we come face to face with the consequences of our actions. It's possible that we will realize that our expectations of others have led us down a path of disappointment and frustration. We may feel regret and self-blame over our mistakes, especially if we've made similar errors in the past. However, this moment of discomfort can also serve as an opportunity for self-reflection and growth. By acknowledging our patterns and taking responsibility for our actions, we can make changes to avoid repeating the same mistakes. It's important to sit with the discomfort and take the time to process our emotions. By doing so, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our tendencies. This self-awareness can inspire us to make positive changes in our behavior and relationships. Although it may be challenging to face our mistakes, it's crucial to remember that this experience can help us break free from negative patterns and move forward in a healthier, more fulfilling direction. With a willingness to learn and grow, we can transform our lives and create a brighter future for ourselves.